Hi ladies, this is Helen coming back at you again. Welcome one, welcome all my beautiful YT sisters to Helen's Poetic Cafe Lounge. The poem that I'm going to recite to you today is called I Am a Man, a Father, and a Husband from a Male's Point of View, deriving from the first poem that I did, Stepmother, and that followed up with When a Woman is Fed Up, and last but not least, this last poem in this three part series, I Am a Man, a Father, and a Husband. So let's get right down to this poem. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for stopping by my channel. And all poems are recited and written by me except the music in the background. And the music that I'm using today is called Because I Love You by Lenny Williams in instrumental form. So let's get right into the poem. Okay, ladies, here we go. Listen. It's like living a double life, and I'm stuck in the middle, in a three way puzzle that will forever be connected together, no matter if one puzzle piece is lost and don't fit anymore. I have my new wife on one hand, my children in the middle, and my ex-wife or baby's mom on the other end, all tugging and pulling at me in all different directions. I have one woman who will not move on even after she has been married several times after me, and still refuse to give up my name like it was her maiden name that she was born with even though we have been divorced decades ago. I have a baby's mom from my past that refused to live in the here and now and still argues with me about what happened between us as to why we broke up, and I have moved on and refused to entertain the past, and we are in the here and the now and the present. There are men that are deadbeat dads, shiftless and no good accounting for men, but there also are men that stand up take responsibility for their actions and are stand-up individuals that don't mind taking care of their children, even to the point of taking them in to their new life and marriage with their, when their mothers can't do it at this moment in time. I love my kids. I will die for my kids. My kids are my legacy when I am long and gone. I want my footprints to pave the way for my sons to love their wives as God loves him and love his wife like he loves himself because no man hates himself and my daughters to be upstanding women living in harmony and having God cover their bond of union in marriage to respect their husbands and he respects her loving her as a weaker vessel and loving her as he loves himself. Some men may even feel scorned and hurt as a woman may feel and go out of their way to ruin the relationship and happiness they enjoy with the new man they have while being pissed to see the joy on her face and laughter that she once had with you that glow in her eyes dancing in the moonlight knowing the love and beauty is no longer entertaining me anymore with the man I am I try my best to co-parent in the most positive way especially being married for 18 years or more. And the kids are now grown with their own family and children, and you may have a bad relationship with one or more of your children because they still can't get over the fact that you and their mother are not together anymore, even years down the line, and they have their own families. But it all comes down to putting God in your life and making things work for the children's sake, for the whole family, for the long run and the short run, because even though you may have only ties with your children now, and the children have aunts and uncles they still deal with, but let's keep it at that, and be happy that we all can get along for the children's sake, because kids see and emulate everything their parents do. It's like the game you buy as a kid, see and say, and they pull the cord, and wherever the arrow lands on that repeat, and they repeat that habit. But if you have a good God-fearing household, and when you pray as a family, the outcome of the game you play in life will be a happy, beneficial one, 
to the point when the children grow old and get grown and start their own families and then their legacy will begin and how you know that you and the women in your life past and present did a great job is when there is harmony and peace in that household and it is expressed in the love your grandchildren have for you so as a man of the household and the father of the children giving the ex-wife and the children's mother due respect if we all play our pivotal roles and co-parent responsibly the children will stand up and say I love and respect my father. I love and respect my mother. I love and respect my stepmother because they all played a major part in my life. And you won't see the repeated talk shows upon talk shows of parents fighting on national TV, kids not knowing who their father really is or how can I gain a relationship with my father because my mom said my dad never wanted me. He takes care of my brothers and sisters and his new family. Are your children demeaning themselves to get your attention by climbing up and down a pole, doing things to get the fatherly or motherly attention that they feel as a kid they were lacking? So let's end this cycle of he, me, and she. What are we going to do, baby? And end in a positive way, upholding the father as the head of the household. Children, no matter what household you're in at this time, even in your mother, if your mother has a new love, respect her new head as a, her new head of the household. Give her respect in a way while staying in a child's place. So to all the fathers in the world, stand up like true kings that you are, leaving a legacy for your sons to carry in a positive way, saying, yes, that's my dad, no matter what or who he was with, he always made sure his children was taken care of and not lacking for anything. Like the Bible says, fathers, do not be irritating your children, but show them the love and civility of a God-fearing household. No matter if the kids are with their mother, they're fine, or with the dad, everything is fine. Because to co-parent in a way that the Lord above is holding each puzzle piece and being blessed that His Holy Spirit is holding each dot-to-dot -dot puzzle, connecting each family to join one another in a circle of co-parenting where the children only see love. And love is a true connection that will keep this union because that is what family and union that bonds all parties together. Whether they like it or not, they might as well get along. I am a man, a father, and a husband from a male point of view. All poems are written and recorded by me. Thank you, everybody for stopping by Helena's Poetic Cafe Lounge and enjoy.